All right, time to move out of the painting tent finally. We're gonna get this thing torn down and out of the garage so that we can get the frame in and uh, start working on the drivetrain. Uh, kind of sad to see it go, uh, but yeah, not really, no. It's uh, kind of been a pain in the butt having it blocking everything. Uh, we built it on the side of the garage that has all the tools, extra lighting, air compressor, uh, the engine, all that stuff is against the wall. So uh, this thing has to get out of here. So let's, let's tear it down and get it out of here. Welcome to a new season of My Point Three Garage. I am Chris. <laughs> this is my lovely wife, Mandy. And this is our garage, season four. So we've been through three seasons of me trying to figure out kind of our passion for our garage, our passion for our vehicles and stuff like that. And I think we figured it out 100% um, in the last season. So uh, in the last season, go through and look at season three. We, uh, I'm looking at the, the Bronco right now, the Stormtrooper, our 73 Ford Bronco. Uh, we finished the metal work, prepped for paint, and, uh, and then painted the vehicle all in our garage. So now it is ready for powertrain. Uh, that is the big overall project that we have for season four is getting the drivetrain and the chassis completed so that we can put the body on it and finish the wiring and, uh, and get it ready for driving in the spring. Um, so season four will be centered around that project, the Stormtrooper chassis and drivetrain. That is where it's going to be centered. Now, to spice things up a little bit, not only for us, uh, but hopefully for you as well, is that we have uh, found another passion. And we'll walk you through those uh, projects um, during this episode, and then also explain kind of what each one of those segments is going to entail. So although most of the content is going to be Bronco related, some of it will be on some other projects. So here are our projects. So project number one, the overriding project, is the 1973 Ford Bronco. It has, uh, we purchased this from um, Matt's Garage, uh, another YouTube channel. Uh, you can check that out in the description. And um, he had done basically all of the tub for the most part. And we finished the tub and at that point got it painted. Um, we are very happy with the job that we did that was in season three. And uh, now we just need to get the chassis done. Project number two, our garage. So I already have a few videos on how we're starting to turn our three car standard garage into what we consider to be our dream garage. So when you think of dream garages, a lot of times you think of epoxied floors, you think of painted walls, uh, you think of, you know, maybe if you're in the northern part of the country, a heater uh, so that you can keep yourself warm in the winter and keep the projects going. Uh, if you think of, you know, uh, tools and, and cabinets and all that kind of stuff and, and all of that is true and that's where we're gonna go with this but I see two different types of garages I see the super clean white walls uh, red or black cabinets um, and epoxy floors um, and then I also see like an old garage like you'd find in a 1920s downtown building um, that has exposed brick and um, uh, exposed wood and uh, you know barn wood that kind of stuff um, and that's more my speed I kind of like that old uh, like old cars um, I like that old vibe that kind of uh, uh, if I had my if I had my perfect garage I would go and buy a building in a downtown area that had exposed bricks and I would basically make it more modern that's what this is gonna look like and the cool thing about it is we've already ordered everything we need to do it we just need to do it uh, so that said, Dream Garage build out is going to be project two in this build. All of this mess that you see here, all of this mess is going to change and go away. And we are going to create a cool environment that we can come in and hang out that is unlike a standard family garage. I am super excited about this. Project three is motorcycles. So we have found a, pa a passion for motorcycles uh, just in the last two months. And uh, I had a motorcycle in college. That's kind of how I got around school. And then a really good friend of mine uh, had a, a pretty serious accident on one. 
Um, and uh, I kind of hung it up. And that was in uh, 91, 92, something like that. Um, and I haven't ridden a motorcycle since. I uh, sold my bike and, and that was it. It wasn't uh, a few months ago. Uh, I started looking at it again and a passion started to build up in me. Mandy was not happy at all about me looking at motorcycles. Uh, but same as she always, always been. She's been very supportive of me. And uh, she, you know, said if you this is something that you want to do, then you should go for it and uh, just be safe and don't put yourself in a situation that uh, where you're going to, you know, disrupt our perfect family life right now. So, uh, so she allowed me to purchase one motorcycle. Within uh, a week, she developed a passion for it, and we'll go through all of that during the series. Uh, and then we ended up buying a second motorcycle. And then we bought a third motorcycle, and then we bought a fourth motorcycle. And we did this all in the span of about three to four weeks. And uh, some of these are perfect bikes, and some of them are project bikes. All of them are classic vehicles. All of these motorcycles are over 25 years old. Um, so in this series, in, in season four, we are going to spend a little bit of time on the builds that we're doing. For instance, this is Mandy's bike right here. And it doesn't look like much now, but you should have seen it when we bought it. And we're gonna, she wants to cafe race her this thing out uh, as her first motorcycle. And granted, she is learning how to ride right now. She has never ridden a motorcycle at all until this point. Um, and uh, she actually has two now. She, she bought two motorcycles. Uh, this is just one of them. Uh, but we're going to spend a little bit of time on motorcycles in this as well because we want to follow our passion into this and see where it goes. Project number four, 1983 Jeep Wagoneer. We bought this from, uh, from an auction, sight unseen, um, and uh, it has been uh, one of our nightmares ever since we bought it. Um, I have done a lot of work to it. I've replaced almost the entire uh, transmission transfer case. I grew up with one of these and I want to see it run. So this will be project four, which is getting this running and getting it driving so I can enjoy it around town. Uh, we are not going to blow this thing apart right now. So this is just simply trying to get an old vehicle running so that we can enjoy it as a family because the dogs will actually fit in the back. This is one of the only vehicles that we can actually get both Huskies into the truck. So we'd like to get that done as well. Project five, 2013 Ford Raptor. Not going to be doing a lot of performance mods on it on this season, but we do intend to do that. For instance, we want to replace the entire suspension with a new aftermarket suspension. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to do our six month review. I want to do a buyer's guide on it because uh, I think at this point, looking at um, looking at the resale values of them, looking at our local market and looking at the new trucks that are coming out and talking to a lot of people that have either owned them or are selling them. Um, I want to kind of give that as a wrap up of what to look for when you're looking for a Raptor, specifically an older Raptor. And project number six is our 1974 Bronco, uh, nicknamed the Bronco to be named later because we never actually named it. Uh, so that name stuck. Uh, this Bronco was the first Bronco that we started working on before we bought the Stormtrooper and has kind of taken a back seat. This Bronco, the chassis and the drivetrain are completed. Uh, it has a 351 Windsor, completely rebuilt. Mandy actually rebuilt the motor. Um, and then um, a new or a rebuilt C6 transmission, we rebuilt that as well. Uh, rebuilt Dana 20. And then the stock running gear underneath as well. And um, this Bronco needs to have the front clip sheet metal and some of the back sheet metal completed during the season so that we can start body work in the spring and get painted as well. So our goal with this one is to get this finished and running by the time we get to Bronco Super Celebration West next year so that we can get both Broncos to the Super Celebration. And, and that's what we're gonna be working on uh, for this is basically sheet metal. We're gonna do the entire front clip on this one is our goal for season four for the Bronco to be named later. So those are the six projects that we have going on. Um, I don't know that we're gonna get all of them completed, but we're definitely gonna get all of them started. Uh, we have agreed between Mandy and I that we are going to be spending more time working on our projects. That way we can bring more content to you and we can get more stuff done. Keep in mind the primary reason for us having even had this channel is to motivate ourselves to get our projects done. And we appreciate you guys commenting. 
um, sending us pictures. We get tons of pictures via email, and we appreciate that very much. It's it's definitely fun to to learn who you are and um, to to get to know you because obviously our community is pretty awesome, and uh, we're just expanding kind of what we're doing not only to 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 keep it fresh and clean, uh, but I'm 48 years old, and uh, I wanna I wanna live everything I can live in the short amount of time I have left. And so I'm gonna play with Broncos and motorcycles, and I'm gonna play with uh, Wagoneers and Jeep YJs and Raptors, and I'm gonna do those things with my wife, who uh, enjoys those things with me, and my children, who enjoys those things as well. And also keep in mind that we have the purchase of the new Bronco that's coming up that we should be getting updates on here pretty quick and being able to place our order and start to get season five ready, which is going to hopefully be the delivery of the new Bronco and um, and and maybe a build out. I don't know. We're, we we don't know what's going to be happening with that season five yet, uh, but we're going to get a bunch of wheeling in, in season five uh, with our new Broncos, uh, some date nights on our cafe racers uh, that will take you guys along. Uh, so you can see parts of Colorado, uh, parts of downtown Denver, and things like that. That's all pie in the sky, dreams in our head. It's a lot of fun. In fact, today, specifically today, we are starting a major project on our dream garage. So instead of doing a vlog style where we just basically run you around a bunch of different projects every single day, we're actually going to title these projects so that you can see what we're working on that specific video. Uh, it may be a Bronco project, which most of them will be a Bronco project. Um, it may be a cafe racer build. It may be one of my other three bikes uh, that I am either A, restoring or building into a cafe racer as well. Um, it may be the Jeep Wagoneer getting it running and driving so I put my dogs in the back of it and kids and throw some blankets back there and go into the mountains for a weekend. Um, who knows what it'll be. Maybe it'll be a Raptor video, maybe it'll be a tech review. Um, I'm just going to mix it up and have a little bit of fun and um, you know have a little bit of fun for me and hopefully this will translate into fun for you and we're just going to run like that so if you decide you don't like one of the subjects that I'm working on then you can pass that video up uh, or if you want to watch it and say hey what is this whole uh, thing about with the Broncos or Wagoneers or something like that and what's that passion about and you can see that maybe you find that passion as well. We might even do a giveaway this season because I've always wanted to do a giveaway and I figured that'd be fun. Please put your comments down below on our projects. Let me know uh, with a full-time job and a family, how are we going to, to manage this? We don't know. We don't even know if we can. Uh, the proof will be in the videos. That's the fun we're going to have this season. This is your time to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> having you guys with us every single video is like having friends in the garage. And that makes it very special for us. And that's why we do this. That's a wrap for my point three garage. Season four is just beginning. You're gonna see the first video on the Dream Garage in a couple of days. And wow, is it gonna change things. No, I think I said enough.